Hi guys, Chris here from Tech Tablets with the Surface Pro 4. I'm not actually going to do an unboxing of this tablet. This has just been unboxed and I've done all that because I didn't really see the point. There's like 10,000 unboxing videos out there. But this is the Core M version. Finally, Microsoft has been listening. They've finally come out with a fanless version, which is a big deal for someone like me because I hate noisy computers. And it's part of the reason why I sold my Surface Pro 3 because of the fan noise it had and it had a few other problems as well. So I ended up just getting rid of it, selling it off. But this thing is just a lot better. I can see how much more refined it is than the Pro 3, the earlier version that I had. The keyboard so much better now with the spaces on the keys. I can actually type on it. Before with the Surface Pro Type Cover 3, I found that I could type on my Chewy VI 10, a $20, $30 keyboard, much better than the older keyboard, which was a bit of a joke, really. But now that Microsoft actually spaced these keys out properly, they've now put in a row here with... Um, more print screen button for example with more buttons on there more controls page up and down it's just so much better the trackpad is now finally larger it's made out of glass and it does feel a little bit better now i've just turned on the tablet i've just i haven't even set it up or done anything just turned it on just put my name in and here it is and the screen itself is is amazing to look at with that uh 267 ppi and that rather awkward resolution of 2736 by 1824 that, of course, is the 3x2 ratio, which I do actually like because I think it's the best of both worlds between 16x10 and your 4x3 ratio. It's not bad at all. So we'll actually just give you a quick look around the tablet. The quality of this thing, I mean, this just actually just screams refinement and quality, especially compared to those Chinese tablets that I am used to looking at. And I'm very interested to see how well this Core M, the new Skylake Core M, performs. And hopefully we'll end up seeing this same CPU in some of those Chinese tablets. So here on the side we have, on the left hand side, a 3.5mm headphone jack. On the top we have the power button, volume up and down. You can see there is a vent here, but there is no fan of course. This is fanless, it's a core M, it doesn't need a fan. It doesn't produce the kind of heat that requires a fan, unlike the i5, which I have heard on the internet just looking at Reddit and various other forums and things that a lot of people are having problems with the kind of noise that's coming out the noise that the i5 is producing, a lot of people aren't happy with that, so I'm, I'm kind of glad I got the fanless version for now. So we have display port out, USB 3 on the side here. I'm a little disappointed, why didn't Microsoft add at least one other port? I mean, come on, the cheap Chinese tablets, they can put two ports on their tablets, why can't Microsoft? It would be great to have at least one other on the other side. That's a minor little gripe there, but there's the power plug there on the side, same as the Surface Pro 3. And it has that same docking mechanism, the same dock there. So people that have this Pro 3 can use the keyboards there interchangeable between both of them. Not that you want to use the Type Cover 3 on the new Pro 4 because, I mean, the keyboard, as mentioned, is so much better. I got it in that bright blue, vibrant blue. It does fold up quite nicely. And on the back, there's the Windows logo, autofocusing camera. Surface Pro 3 didn't even have an autofocusing camera, which was such a disappointment. Couldn't even take photos of text or anything like that overall it just screams quality now my intentions with have actually getting this tablet are basically just to run through some benchmarks do some gaming tests on it and get an idea of how well the skylake 6y30 performs the core m i'm very interested to see how that's going to stack up against the older model that we do see in some of the chinese tablets now coming through like the cube i7 stylus so if you're interested in seeing those benchmarks i'll have those shortly up and some gaming tests but uh just give you a look at the screen 103 gigabytes free for those interested when you first boot it up but have a look at the screen here it's uh, very nice and to finally start using a laminated fully laminated display again at this size is uh, quite a joy especially coming from the non laminated displays it just looks really good the colors very good very sharp you, i can't make out any pixels whatsoever on it so it's very nice all good. All right, so stay tuned. Those videos will be coming out soon with some gaming tests. I'm sure there's plenty of other gaming tests already on the internet that are covering the i5 model, but I plan to cover them all with the entry-level base model with the Core M, M3. Thank you for watching. Hopefully see you in those next videos. Bye for now.